at the farm um, it's, things have been moving kind of slow however it's still moving and um, we will continue to to monitor how things are going um, today is a really overcast day not rain just overcast we had a lot of rain last night um, so yeah we just came to give an update again is the sound and we are the brothers repatriating here in Tanzania looking um, to create a farm and we are working hard at it so yesterday we went and we finally get decided to get a pump for the um for the pump house because we are planning on getting um solar but the expense was too great so we decided to just get a, um, a pump and we have an electric electrician and her pl our plumber came, came back to figure it out. And so we are working on the Agnes. We are working on that now. So Chico brought it, brought them. Agnes! Brought them to come and figure stuff out. Hey Annette. Yeah. Good afternoon. They are still working on the chicken house. The chicken house. It's moving slowly, but nevertheless, it's moving. It's a um, Japan brand, and this one is able to gen to generate power not only to pump but you can use it at the same time too. And I'm just saying what was told to us because I don't know nothing about generators. From the pump, it can it can pump the it can work on the pump while it work on a house. I don't know nothing about Jennifer. Chica, did you see the manual? What? No. Oh, we don't get manual in our boxes. So we can't read manual. And it's no English. No English. No English. Maybe the English is below. This is not, this didn't come in a box. It did come in an extra battery. 
just in case the one he said, just in case he's been there for a while and it's not used. And this is the, the, um, the wheels, the wheel kit. It came with it. So, check for spill fluid or fluid. Um, there is no manual. Have a ton key, right? Chico, all right. Well, you have to keep make sure you keep one. Eh? Just for the plug, another plug, 220 volts, AC circuit breaker. And I don't know what those such protection DC protector, I don't know what that is with a pump. And all this. This is to check the oil. That I know. So, yep, yeah, so we'll be having water flowing here. It's one of the very first things we did. Yeah, we both decided, we decided to. We were trying to get um, the solar, but. It didn't work so we ended up um, we ended up just getting the generator for now because we exhausted all our resources as far as putting in the um the as far as putting in the um the gas as far as putting in the um oh god help me the solar because it was so expensive. We went to, I think we went to like about six or seven different um, companies and the prices varies. I think the least expensive one we had was eight mil. The most expensive was 25 mil. Just for the pump. So we decided to hold up on that and get the generator. Because we only really need it for pumping water and then also was to light the chicken farm the chicken house but we figure out another option in lighting the chicken house it's also um it's also solar but it's cheaper so we're gonna just do that just for the farm house for the chicken house because it takes less voltage to light it and then as time goes on and we grow, we will definitely put in um, the solar system for the pump house. Progress so far of the chicken house is coming on. Kidogo, kidogo. Small, small. Little by little. So, um, hopefully this will be done. I'm not rushing the guy that was that the fungi that we had to do it. After we gave him the second payment, he left and never come back. So the guys that are working here still are his workers. He owed them the money. He just took the money and left. Um, then we had another setback. One of the guys that works here, they had, he was so mad at the phone he, that he didn't get pay. He pushed that entire wall down. Because they had just finished putting it, in, putting it in that day and it wasn't set or anything as yet. So, 
this is our blocks that's on the ground there our blocks our gravels and our cement and that's because one of the workers decided to that the fully owe him money so he's gonna break the walls so that was one of the setback well two setbacks the fully living with our money and then um the guy breaking the wall however we will keep progressing you know right now it's raining i'm standing under the tree trying to get a little bit of shelter chikwanem is in the rain trying to discuss with the fundi what um what um they would what equipment they're gonna get what uh, materials they need now so basically what we did was when once the fundi left we spoke to them and see if they will continue working with us and just pay them daily and if they finish in the time that um that if they're finishing appropriate time and they do a good job we will whatever money is left from the contract with the fundi after we pay them daily yes daily amount they will get that money because we don't want to take away from no one um so that's basically what it is the fundi got um left after he, after he laid the the foundation we paid him the the first one the first payment before he laid the foundation and then he was and he gets the second um payment while he was laying the foundation because of course that's hard work right that's the hardest work and then once we pay him that money he left and he never came back but um so he was just talking to them talking to them and i guess the guy decided that he doesn't he's not gonna get his pay, so he broke the wall and then this phone decided to continue the progress for us this guy right here the one that's standing in the gray he decided to continue the work for us and pay them daily as i just said and then at the end of everything they would um if there is money leftovers they will get it in a lump sum um we made we did made some changes we went to visit um two farms um recently last week thursday and um we were going to use four by four treated four by four and two by two to do the um roof the upper part and then we saw that they're using the marunda marunda is so much cheaper than the four by four so we decided i asked them how many years they had that that um, building they said seven with the marunda and so we decided to go with the marunda which each of the small marundas cost three thousand shillings and the bigger ones cost five thousand shillings and we already had marundas as posts so we had used a marunda as the post which was you know to put to create the foundation and the structure we used the marunda but we was going to use four by four for the top but um seeing that we saw that and it was going to be cost effective because we lost some money and we lost time we decided to go with the marunda that's what we did <clears throat> so yep so progress keep moving we have the guy to do the toilet we have the water going on right now the fundi is putting up the, the um everything is up already we just needed to figure out the water system whether we're gonna use a, a um a generator or the, we actually didn't want to use a generator because with generator you still gotta buy gas we just wanted to use the solar but the solar seems to be over our budget not seems to be it is over our budget so we just decided to go with the generator for now and this is where we are
Is it going in the tub? Yeah? Oh, really? You gotta close it. Close Guys, look. Ooh, can I get water? Where is the water? Still not oh, so it go when it goes up, you can get it here. Uh -huh. So when it goes up, you can get it here. Once it's filled, yeah. What's the answer? Oh, it's yeah, it smells like sulfur. So there's sulfur water.